looked after us. Let's honor Jesus for keeping us, for giving us a gift of a brand new day, the gift of life. Let's praise God for a day like this, for a wonderful day in his presence because our God is good, because our God is wonderful, because our God is gracious, because our God is kind. Children, praise the Lord, praise the Lord for seeing you through the past 11 months of this year. Praise the Lord for providing for you, for giving you every good thing that you need for life. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we praise your holy name. We are grateful because you have been good. We are grateful because you have been kind. We are grateful because you have been wonderful. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. If not for you, where would we be? You have been a kind father. You have been a gracious God. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Maker. Thank you, our Redeemer. Thank you, our Keeper. Thank you, our Sustainer. Thank you, our Provider. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are given thanks. Amen. We give you
and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Amen. And it's in our midst. So I want us to raise our voices and say, Father, thank you. You are the King of all kings. You are the Lord of all lords. You are the wisdom of the wise. You are the strength of the strong. You are God and you are God all by yourself. There is no other in your class. Your class belongs to you alone. Because there is none compared to you. There is none like you. You are God all by yourself. And we honor you. We give you glory. We thank you, ancient of days. We lift you high. Father, we glorify you. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for everything. We are forever grateful to you. We are indebted to you. We owe everything to you, Jesus, because you are so great. Thank you, our Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Children, you are going to be very involved this morning. It is about you. Today's service is mainly for you. And I want you to think about one thing. What is that one thing that you want to thank God for? As young as you are, there must be something that you are grateful for. It could be your mom. It could be your friend. It could be your dad. It could be your school. It could be that you feel well and you feel happy. It could be that you have what you need. It could be that there was a time that you felt things were difficult and now they don't feel difficult. So I want you to say, Jesus, I thank you. I don't know what it is that you want to give thanks for, but I want you to think about one thing and say, Jesus, thank you. Parents, I want you to give thanks for these children. Let's thank God for them. They are good children. They are glorious children. And sometimes because they are our children, we don't see the good things about them in full color. We see the good things about them, but maybe we don't see it in full color. I want us to give thanks for those children this morning. Let's say, Father, thank you. Thank you for my children. Thank you for the children you've given us. Because they are good and wonderful children. Because they are children with glorious futures. Shall we praise the Lord? And Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you for the children you have given us. Thank you for all the children in this ministry. They are good children. They are wonderful children. They are beautiful human beings. Father, we give you glory. You have created them so gloriously. We are grateful this morning. We look at all these young ones, and our hearts are filled with joy, and we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all our children. Thank you, Lord, for them. Thank you for their journeys. Thank you for how far you have brought them. Thank you for all you are doing for them. Thank you, Jesus, for where you are taking them. We are grateful, our Father. May your name forever be praised, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Yeah. Children, I still don't see you pray. So I'm going to ask you all to come forward and form a row. One line. And I want you to say after me. All of you, please come forward. Form a row. Form one line. And you will say after me. Are we ready? Children, say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks because you are my wisdom. Say again, Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks because you are my place of safety. Say again, Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks for my family and friends. As a church, let's lift up our voices again and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for family. Thank you for parents. Thank you for mothers. Thank you for children. Thank you for the roof over our heads. Thank you for everything you have done for us. Shall we give praise? Our Father and our God, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Thank you because you are the wisdom of these ones. You are the one that has made them smart. You have created them so beautifully. Thank you, Lord, for their parents. Thank you, Lord, for the roof over our heads. Thank you for our families. Thank you for the good people around us. 
Thank you for friends. Thank you for those we can call friends and confidence. Thank you for those we can call upon when we need help and support. Father, you have positioned them. And we do not take that for granted. We are grateful, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because more importantly, you are our support system. And we honor you, Lord. We praise your name. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Before one of you comes forward, I will just let want us to pray a few prayers. And children, I want you to say after me again. Let's open our Bible to the book of Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. And we will read together. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. If you remember from since Tuesday, we have been praying because the Lord says he will save our children. Children and young people, the Lord says he will save you. Amen. So I want you to say after me as I read this Bible. And I want to hear your voices. Children, are you ready? Yes. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Say after me. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Please say again. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Children, I want you to lift your voices to God and say, Father, save me. You are my salvation. Save me from every evil, from every danger. Father, save me. And parents, let's, let's pronounce upon these words that the Lord will save them. That they will see the salvation of God. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we pray for our children and young ones. Father, save them. Because you are our salvation. We call upon you as a church. We call upon you as a people. Because these children are yours. They belong to you. And as they are proclaimed with their own mouth. Father, please save them. In the name of Jesus. From all evil. From doom. Father, save them. In the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we pray. That you will save our children. The ones you have given us. Because they are your heritage. By your mercy, O Lord. Please save them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Once again, let's quickly look at the book of Genesis. Genesis 19, verse 16. And we look at the story of Lot. Genesis, Genesis 19, verse 16. The Bible says, when he hesitated, when Lot, when he was slow to move, the man grasped his hand, and um, the hand of his wife and of his two daughters, and led them out of the city to safety, because the Lord was merciful to them. When we look around us, we will know that there is an impending doom upon the world, unless we want to lie. People have turned away from God. And when children and young people, even adults, when we think we can live life by ourselves, when we start to think that God does not matter anymore, it's only a matter of time. Children, calamity will not be for you in Jesus' name. Amen. But you know Lot was so slow. He didn't want to move on time. The angels grabbed his hand, they grabbed his wife and children, and they led them to safety. So paraventures, you guys, you are still thinking, when I'm a bit older, I will give my life to Jesus. Or when I know when I'm ready. This morning we are praying. That even as you are hesitating, the Lord will save you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus and say, Father, children say after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. by your divine mercy, by your divine mercy. Please, save please save me. Let's call upon the name of Jesus, parents, and say, Father, save my children by your divine mercy. In the name of Jesus, by your mercy, Lord, we pray that these ones, they shall be saved. In the name of Jesus, our children are saved. From sudden head death, they are saved. From calamity, they are saved. In the name of Jesus, by your mercy, O oh Lord, 
Father, we pray that these ones, they are saved in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will continually be their salvation, that you will save them from everything that is not your plan. Father, save them in the name of Jesus. Father, save our children. Save their souls. Save their hearts in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that our children will find safety. Father, by your mercy, please save them. As you saved Lot and his family, by your mercy. Father, even in the midst of whatever may be going on around us, we pray, O oh Lord, for all our children and young ones, that they shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And finally, Isaiah 49, verse 24, that we pray from, the Lord says he will save our children. Amen. You know it is a big calamity for one to have come all the way from so far and then end up burying their children because the child decides to get involved in drug and knife crime and things that it it's only happens to people when they are comfortable. Look at children who are hungry where we come from. They probably don't have time to carry knife. They don't have time to start thinking I don't like my body. Because the body is not even fed to start with. In this country, parents and children, families are getting so comfortable that we are beginning to forget that God is our source. Mm. Children will be saved. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Children will be saved. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As a church, we will not cry over you. Amen. It's only when the child dies that their parents cry. Sometimes a child can be lost, not to death. We will not lose our children. Amen. We will not lose them to sin. We will not lose them to this world. Amen. Children, you will not turn away from your maker. Amen. Children, you will not turn away from the grace of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you all to lift up your hands, children. And say, Father, save me. You have said in your word that you will save me. Please save me. In the name of Jesus. Children, again, parents, let's point our hands to them. And say, Father, save these ones. Because they belong to you. Save them by your mercy, shall we pray. And Father, our God, we declare concerning these children that you will save them. Lord, we know that they are yours. You gave them to yours. They belong to you. You gave them to us, O Lord. And so we lift them to you this morning. Father, save our children in the name of Jesus. Father, save our children in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray and declare concerning these children and young ones. Children, you will not turn away from God. We will not lose you to this world. We will not lose you to this wicked world. In the name of Jesus, we will not lose you to death. We will not lose you to sin. In the name of Jesus, we will not cry over you. We will not mourn over you. You will not bring us trouble. In the name of Jesus, children, we declare concerning you. You will not bring trouble home. You will not bring trouble upon yourselves. In the name of Jesus, your life will not be ruined. In the name of Jesus, the comforts that you enjoy will not become the reason you turn away from God. The comforts that you have will not become the reason you turn away from God. You will love the Lord and you will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, even those of you that are hesitating in accepting Jesus, the Lord will find you. In the name of Jesus, as he grab hold of God, the Lord is grabbing hold of you today. In the name of Jesus, and he is saving you by his mercy. In the name of Jesus, thank you, our Heavenly Father. For in Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's call upon the name of Jesus finally and say, Father, I cancel sickness and death in the name of over Jesus. these children. And if the Bible says the power of life and death is upon our tongue, yes. and as those who gave birth to them, the Lord has given us some aspect of authority. And let's use that authority in the name of Jesus. And say, Father, over the children you have given me, I cancel sickness and death. Yes. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray? Father, Father in the name, name of, Jesus. of Jesus, over the children that you have given us, in your name, Jesus, we cancel sickness and death. In the name of Jesus, we cancel sickness and death. In the name of Jesus, children, sickness will not destroy you. Death will not cut you short. In the name of Jesus, sickness will not destroy your bodies, and death will not cut you short. In the name of Jesus, we will cancel and authority in the power of Jesus. Spiritual death, you will not die spiritually.
Physically. You will not die physically. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. One of our sisters, one of the students, I remember she was giving a testimony and she might, she might even be listening online. She said, I go to this country and things were so hard. And as a child of God, I found it so hard to connect to God. And then it was that time that I didn't find it easy connecting to God that God kept speaking to me. She said it got to a point that I, I used to say to God, but I'm not speaking to you. Why is it that you keep speaking to me? She said she just couldn't detach completely because God would not stop speaking to her. And praise God for her today. And thank God for one of her young ones as well. She, she will keep having these things where God speaks to her. And it will happen as God says. And then she, she was telling her that one day, I had this dream. And it's about a, a, a test I've written. And she described what the mark is. Exactly the mark, the comments, the, even the pen color. And she said, what if it doesn't happen? And I, I, I remember pastor saying to her, if, why is it that you don't believe that God is speaking to you? Just because you think it's weird. Let's call upon Jesus. You know when God starts to speak to them, they will find it hard to not connect. Because God will not leave them. Amen. Let's say, Father, these ones, they are yours. Amen. Never leave them nor forsake them. Amen. Let your voice, let your voice constantly ring in their ears. And in their memories, shall we pray? Father, in your name. Jesus. Father, our God, we declare concerning this one. Father, never leave them, never forsake them. In the name of Jesus, wherever they may be, wherever our children may find themselves on the surface of this earth, Father, please never leave them, never forsake them. Father, we pray that your voice will constantly ring in their ears. In the name of Jesus, Father, speak to them. In their dreams, speak to them. In their hearing, speak to them. In the name of Jesus, Father, never leave them, never forsake them. Let your voice constantly speak to them. In the name of Jesus, our children shall hear the Lord. Children, you will hear God. Children, you will hear God. Children, you will hear God. In the name of Jesus, in different ways, you will hear God. And the Lord will speak to you all the days of your life. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And as we have prayed, and as these young ones have declared with their own mouth, Father, we pray that you shall grant unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our prayer shall be answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank you for the prayer of the Lord. And thank you, Annie, for the opportunity you gave to me to pray for the child today. So, once again, we shall stand up and pray and ask God. And ask God, we shall to thank God for letting us to wake up this morning. All this child here don't know that it's God, only God that led him to wake up this morning yes. and say, oh, today is a really good day. Or for letting, for, it's only God that led them to stand up from their beds, go on the window, see the sunny day that it is today. So let's begin to thank God for what have done for us, for, for keeping us this night, for keeping us safe, for not letting us pass away during this night. Let's start praying to God. 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 Now, let's ask God to keep him protecting us in our going, in our coming, because we may just be walking in the road and say, just a car passing by the way, as we're crossing the road, we say, oh, I'm just 
I have good luck. So nothing ever happened. But we don't know that it was God who intervened, who sent his angel to not let anything to happen to us every single second of our life. So we have to thank God and ask him to keep on protecting us like this. Keep on protecting us that way. May something bad not happen to us, to our children, to our youth in the name of Jesus. Let pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. now we're going to ask God for forgiveness for our sin many of us sin we don't even know many of us don't even think that what we are doing is even a sin but for God it is many of us even children little children we have to teach them what is sin and what is not because they, I, I may tell you children keep on sinning constantly even though we don't know like little lies and all etc. So that is still sin. So we have to try to teach our children how to pray to God for forgiveness. Now let's pray for God for forgiveness of our sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, everyone have an odd desire, something that they want, something that they will wish from God, something that they will like from God. We are going to ask God now to grant our heart desire, to fulfill our heart desire according to his will. Anything that you may wish of, anything that you may think of, as far as he reached God's expectation, ask God to grant it for you. Let's pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Ask God, ask God to grant your heart desire. Anything that you may be thinking of, ask God to ask to grant your heart desire. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you to grant your heart desire. Anything that may be your children desire, your youth desire, if it is for school, if it is for a test, ask God to grant your heart desire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to uh, take the Bible and turn to Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. I repeat again Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Which says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord, you God, who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Amen. So, we are going to ask God to empower your children, to empower the youth, and to ask God to not leave us, neither forsake us in any time. That upon not everything we are doing, God keeping us, empowering us, and staying with us, not to turn us by, not to leave us, neither forsake us, to stay with us all the days of our life. Let us pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, 
Jeremiah chapter 1 from 4 to 8. I shall read. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou came forth out of the womb, I sacrificed thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Yes. Then said, Hi, hey, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am and whatsoever I command thee, do shall speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, say the Lord. So I wanted to reflect upon this Bible verse because many things that are happening during this time may even be feeling bad. Like you must feel bad of many, many things. You may even be feel bad if you want to like relation mostly youth when you want to relate with someone and that person literally don't want to stay with you or simply don't want to talk to you that moment and you will feel bad because of another person and that thing is not good because God is the only person who can fulfill our, our desire and who can make us happy so don't be sad if someone if someone don't want to even talk to you don't be sad there are many people out there who can relate with you don't be sad if if even even when you're talking to when you're talking to someone say hi he don't even answer you don't be sad so let's pray may god may god fulfill our heart desire may he fulfill our destiny according to his will may may bring us up may bring us to new people may bring us to people that we, we, we let us improve in our life let us pray Ask God to lead you to the rock, to the good path in the name of Jesus. Ask God, ask God, ask God to lead you to the right path. Ask God to to grant you. Ask God to guide you. To guide to send angels to guide you. Bring us for the leaders of tomorrow. Ask God to grow your child as the leaders of tomorrow. Ask God to grow them up. And bring them up according to your will. And bring them up according to your will. In the name of Jesus. Father, we will guide us through the good path. In the name of Jesus. And we will guide us through the good path. Even though they go to the world to say, you may be thinking that they are going to the wrong side, but ask God to take them back to the good side. Ask God to not turn, never turn them against us in the name of Jesus. Ask God to empower our children, to empower our youth in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, is that we come on us, Father. Take us to the right way. Take us to the right way. In the name of Jesus. Even though we may leave your way, Father, guide us through it in the name of Jesus. Guide us back through it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, uh, we turn our Bible to Psalm 138, verse 7. I repeat again, Psalm 138, verse 7. That say, Do I walk in the midst of the trouble? You preserve my life. You stretch out your hands against the wrath of my enemies, and you right hand delivers me. Amen. So let's ask God to protect us during this week Amen. in our schools, in our working place, Amen. to protect us from diseases, illnesses, even from this COVID 19 that is impacting, going and coming, going and coming. May we not affect us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's ask Him that may the problem of the others may not come and affect us emotionally, physically, or mentally. Amen. May the problem of the people that is in our school, of teachers, of colleagues in the working place, may it not affect us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's ask us in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, Lord, Father, Lord, Father, Lord, Father, protect us during this year as we go to school, as we go to work. Father, Lord, Lord, protect us. Father, protect us. Our children go to school, as our youth go to school. Father, Lord, protect us. Any evil teacher, Father, Lord, may be out of our life. 
name of Jesus, Father. Any evil person bothering us at school, bothering us at the working place, Father. Let's ask God to, to cancel them out of our life, to remove them out of our life, to displace them out of our life in the name of Jesus. Let's be people asking God. Let's ask God. Any person that may be bothering you, may their, may their evil, may their evil God not influence us. May their evil God not make us sad. Father, oh Lord, Father, oh Lord, any lady person will want to influence us bad, that want to lead us on the bad pathway, Father, Lord, cancel them out of our life. Cancel them out of our life. Cancel them out of our life. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord. Father, Lord. Anywhere they may be coming from. Anywhere they may be coming from. Father, Lord, cancel them from our life. Cancel them from our life. Cancel them from our life. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our last prayer is against any evil forces. Because you may wake up one day now, you just see your child just acting bad. Just acting bad. You, you may not be angry with him. You are not knowing that there's something that is bothering him. Maybe at school, maybe even with their friends. You may not know that there's something, there's somebody that is keeping on telling him negative things, that keeping on giving him negative influence, that keeping on giving him negative, oh, you know this, oh, you know that, giving him negative comments against you or your family. So you will be coming and start to be acting what's he heard at school. May God, may God stop those evil voices in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. May God stop those evil comments in the name of Jesus. Any evil voices where the devil wants to try to influence us badly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, may you stop those evil comments. May you stop those evil sources in the name of Jesus. Any country that is not from God, may it be your protest. Any plan that the Lord has not planted in our life, may be your protest. May be your protest. May be your protest in the name of Jesus. May be your protest in the name of Jesus. We pray, we pray, we pray. Any, any evil voices, any evil, evil influence that we that the devil has planned in our life, any evil plan that the devil has planned in our life to plan our breakdown of our family, for us, for our children, for our youth, in the name of Jesus, we cancel them, we cancel them, divine restoration upon our children, divine restoration upon our children, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we will not be, we will not be in this, we will not be the last, we will be the top. Children. Your children will not be that. They will be the top of their class. They will be the top of everything that they do in the name of Jesus. And for the youth who will find a good job, who will find a good scholarship, who will find a good school to go, who will find a good university to go in the name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, Father, oh Lord, Father, oh Lord, Father, speak, Father, speak to us, Father, speak to us, Father, speak to us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. Wow. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and put our hands together for Jesus. I can see there is a future for this ministry. Hallelujah. Let me just say this before I continue. There are four people mm -hmm. that gave you the assignment. You can see now, no excuse. Believe in God, believe in the word of God, and believe in yourself. The Lord will use all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. My name is more anointing, more grace, more enablement in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we just close our eyes and say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Lord. Just go ahead and give God praise. Just appreciate God this morning. Say thank you, Jesus, for your word. Let's thank you for what He did on Tuesday. Let's thank you for what He did on Friday. Let's give Him praise for what He's doing among us today. Thank you for divine preservation. We give you praise. We give you honor. May your name forever be praised. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's everybody close his or eyes. It's very early children. Like my pastor, Mrs. said, of course, the service is about Jesus, but mainly it's about children. Please, I want to hear you. I want to preach the word of God. And I want you to listen. Close your eyes and sing this song. As I receive it. 
I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to Stand up, every one of you, and sing that song at the top of your voice. You know when you want something, especially when you want McDonald's, you know how you shout. Hmm? We have one in our house. Even when you are, she's in the car, if she can see the logo, it's enough. I can see something, and it's yellow color. So I want you to shout like that this morning. All right. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Sing it. I have decided to follow Jesus. No time. To follow you, Jesus. No turning back. Parents, please pray for these children. And children, please open your mouth and pray too. Say, I have decided to follow you, Jesus. I will not go back to the world. I will not turn, turn back to sin. Uphold me, O oh Lord. I have decided to follow you. Parents, please release the word of God upon them. This one will follow you to the end. We commission them ahead, ahead of you. We commission our children afresh to you, Jesus. We dedicate them to you afresh. They will follow you to the end. No turning back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Father. For in Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everlasting Father, King of glory, we bless your holy name. Thank you for divine preservation. Thank you for what you've done on Tuesday. Thank you for Friday. Thank you for what you are doing now. And for what you are still going to do. Thank you for every family represented here this morning. Thank you for our children. Thank you for good health. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. As we look into your word, please open our heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Save our soul today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that be open heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let your name alone be glorified. Amen. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. And have your seat. God bless you. Amen. I welcome you all to the presence of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Just to read the Bible text God gave us before I go to the word of God. Isaiah 49 verse 25 As you know that this divine preservation special prayer for children and family is every three, three month program. And the word God gave us is in Isaiah 49, verse 25.
Can we read it together? Everyone. Isaiah 49, verse 25. Let's go. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him who contend with you, and I will save your children. Say amen. amen. That's the promise of God for us. The Lord will save our children in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today I want to speak on salvation. Please, everyone, pay attention. Children, especially, open your Bible. I told you when you come to church, you are going to school. You should come with your Bible, with a note and a pen. I want to see you writing. If you don't have a note, we have note here. Osha, can you give notes to them? And make sure you write things down. Hallelujah. Amen. Open with me to the book of Matthew. Matthew 19. And I'm going to read 13 and 14. Are we together? Matthew 19, verse 13 and 14. Are we there? Yes. I read. Then little children were brought to him that he might put his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me. And do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verse 15. And he laid his hands on them and departed from there. Hallelujah. Amen. Children, God loves you so much. He said the kingdom of God belongs to you. You can go and sit down now. God bless you. Those notes... Not for you to draw cartoon, no. mm, it's to write Bible verses, all right, and to write someone. Now, let's pay attention. Jesus loved you so much, and He said, The kingdom of God belongs to you. What a blessing! So, if for you, it's good for you to know that the kingdom, kingdom of God belongs to you. And you will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When Jesus said, Children, come to me, for the kingdom of God belongs to you. What does that mean? What Jesus is saying is in Proverbs 28, Proverbs 23, verse 26. This is what Jesus wants from you. Are you paying attention? With me, children, just look at me, and I want you to write those Bible verses down, but pay attention. Proverbs 23 and verse 26. My son, my daughter, give me your heart, and let your eyes observe my ways. That's me. That's why Jesus is calling you. I have a word for our children today and for uh, our parents also. But mainly for children. So what God wants from you is your heart. That's number one. Then your eyes. Can you say that with me? God wants my heart and my eyes. He wants you to give him his, your heart. So your eyes can observe His way. The Spirit of God is ministering to our brother that just ministered, Brother Emmanuel. I wanted to talk about Jeremiah when God called him. I want to tell you that every one of you, you have the call of God upon you. The call of God does not mean you have to go and start ministry. It doesn't mean you have to go and have a church. No. Ministry is more than having a church. Ministry simply means your life assignment. Do you understand that prayer? You will not do, you are not going to wrong profession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have been called to be a doctor, 
and you now went to study law. That's miss 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 Priority. That's not your calling. You can only know your calling if you follow Jesus. But if you are following Jesus, you give him your heart and your eyes is observing his way, you will know your ministry. Your ministry is your assignment. It's your purpose. It's your gift. It's your vision. Ministry is a complex word. Very big. What interests you? Some of you, you like sports. You like singing. You like drama. Parents, let's pay attention to what they like. What interests them. Don't force them to do something. After you have not prayed. Pray. As they are showing interest in those things, then pray along. They will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A call to salvation is a call to power. It's a call to greatness. It's a call to long life. None of this one will die young in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a clarion call to eternal life with Jesus. And the most important thing is that God will save your souls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you want to give your life to Jesus today, I will appreciate it when it's time. That's the most important thing. That you reign with Jesus. And all of us will miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let me go to parents before I come back to the children. I said this on Friday. Parents are God ordained priests over their children. Before me as your pastor, you are the first pastor of your children. And I will show you now. You are teacher. Parents are teacher. Let's look at Psalm 34 verse 10. Psalm 34 and verse 10. Just open your Bible. I'm going to read it. Psalm 34. Are we all there? Verse 11. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. I will what? Teach you. Teacher. Is that not what teacher? So it's our duty, parents, to call our children and do what? Teach them the way of the Lord. Call them daily. Call them time to time. Teach them the fear of God. Teach them the way of God. And they will listen to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Teach them to fear God and to respect men. Did you hear that? Don't teach them to fear men. Teach them to do what? Yeah. To fear God and to respect men. Because the fear of men brings one into snare. That's the word of God. You will not live in fear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you realize your children becoming fearful, parents, you need to pray. Fear is not a good thing. God has not given us spirit of fear, but of faith and of sound mind. Can you say that after me? Fear God and respect men. Don't fear men. Mm, don't fear men. Don't fear pastor. You are not to fear men. You are to respect men. But fear who? God. God. Your maker. And he shall do well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Teach them the ways and will of God. Teach them about God's Commandment. Let's read Exodus 20. Let's just write it down because of our time. Exodus 20, 1 to 17. That's when we have 10 commandments. Please, children, when you get to, should we read it? Because it's powerful. Let's read it. Exodus 20. Let us, every one of us, read it. 1 to 17. I remember when we were growing up in church then, 
every one of us, you must know Ten Commandments of offhand. <laughs> All those things, they are no more today. May the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You must be able to read Ten Commandments offhand and our Lord's Prayer. Any one of you can read the Lord's Prayer. If you can read the Lord's Prayer, raise up your hand. Can you read our Lord's Prayer? You can read it. I have one. Anyone? You can read it. I have two. God bless you. My children are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you want to come and read it? <laughs> I know you are not lying. You can read it. All these things, let's teach them. The word of God is remain the same. I was preaching on Friday and that just thing just came to my mind. Listen. Hebrews 13, 8. And Numbers 23, 19. We are told that God the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Do you know the same thing, Satan? He has not changed as well. He's still a liar. He's still a killer. He's still a robber. He's still a destroyer. Can you see that? So we must teach them the way of God, the word of God. Let's read Ten Commandments. Are we all there? Let's read together. Numbers 20, I mean Exodus 20, from 1, 1 to 17. Let's read. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord of God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You will have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. All that is in the head beneath, all that is in the water under the head, you shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord your God, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless. Who takes his name in vain? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, nor you, your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant or female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger, nor is within your gate. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land, which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. Children, when you get home, go and read it again. Try and know it often. Ten Commandments. It will guide you through your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two thing we need to teach them. Let them know that the only one that can be trusted is God. You know, children, they can be so naive. Easily. I remember myself growing up. One of the problems I have, I trust people easily until they begin to show me. And many of us were like that. Teach them the only one that can be trusted is who? Jesus. Jesus, God. Listen to me, children, including me, your pastor. No man can be trusted. Am I talking to you? The only one you can trust with all your heart, your mind, your life, your destiny, your time, your resources is God. And if you do that, 
He will guide you. Of course, you relate to men. But through his spirit, you'll be able to design. You know, for praying in any man's hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalm 38 verse 10, Psalm 38 verse Psalm 34 verse 8. You can write it down too. I'm trying to rush because of our time. Teach them also that God is good. God is what? God is good. Another thing we need to teach them, teach them how to pray. They need to pray. They need to do what? Pray. Children, say, I need to pray. Thank God for this environment. Educationally wise, they are brilliant. Give them to spirituality. It has to be balanced. Look at those little children. A child of four or five. The way they operate computer in the house. Even we, we don't know it. And many of us back home, we still went to computer school, things like that. Nobody taught them. That is God. But that is not enough in this wicked world. Give them God. Teach them how to pray. And the best way to teach them how to pray is by example. If you don't pray, parents, they will not pray. But if you pray, just you do it, ignore them. They will pray. Many times our little one, the elder, we have not prayed today because that's what we do early in the morning. So by the time you begin to do it, in fact, when you are tired, your child will come to you, Mommy, we have not prayed. Daddy, we have not prayed. Teach them how to pray. Show them. Tell them they cannot live without prayer. They cannot live without God. You know God is prayer. Because I said you cannot live without prayer. Yes. The only one we pray to, we pray to God. So you cannot live without prayer. One of the words God gave me that tell my people, prayer is the man too for battle. Life is a battle. Our children will not battle through life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. But don't be deceived. That doesn't mean they will not be challenged. Uh, they will be challenged. <coughs> I must not tell you lie. They will be what? Challenge. But they will prevail. Amen. I said they will prevail. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When God called Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1, you get to go and read Jeremiah chapter 1, 1 to verse 19. The child. Jeremiah said, No, I'm a youth. God said, Don't say that to me. Before I formed you, I've ordained you as what? A prophet to nations, a global prophet. By the time he got to last verse 19, he said, prepare yourself, prepare spiritually, pray, be empowered, because they will fight you, but they will not prevail. So teach them how to pray. We tell our daughter, some of the things happen to her now, her school, uh -huh, life, experience is a better teacher. <laughs> Nobody can take that from you. You know, there are some things you teach them, they won't take but by the time they begin to find life, they begin to find purpose. Real experience will come. But those experiences will not destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Bans yeah. to happen, it must happen. They must be challenged, they must go through. For we rest you. If you don't want to struggle, you cannot go forward in life. But they will not be break down. They will not be broken down. Amen. I say what they go to will not break them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at Psalm 34. <coughs> Children, I'm talking to you. Psalm 34. Let's read it from verse verse 19. Look at your Bible, please. I want to show you something. Psalm 34, from verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones. Not one of them is broken. That's what I'm saying. But they will go through. But nothing will break them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Life can bend you, you know, but it will not break you. No. Verse 21. Evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate our children shall be condemned forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord redeems the soul of his servant. And none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. David here was talking about Jesus. He was talking about Jesus. You know, by the time they got to the cross, they want to go and break his bone. That's God. Nothing will break you down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say you people will not break down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will break through life in the name of Jesus. I know that in number four. Teach them and tell them that God has plans for them. Let somebody read Jeremiah 29, verse 11. God has what? Plans Plans for them. Your parents only have an idea for you. Listen to me. They only do what? Idea. I want you to go to best university. I want to buy you a car when you are 18. All those are ideas. Even the parents. God will give us long life in Jesus' name. Amen. The one that is promising 10 years, do you know you'll be here today? Don't be afraid, you will not die in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm just telling you the reality. That's why I said only God can be trusted. Yes. So if you aim your heart with that, are you listening to me, children? Yes. That will help you. God bless you. Are we there? Jeremiah 29, 11. Oh, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Yes. Says the Lord. Mm-hmm. The thoughts of peace are not evil. Mm-hmm. To give you an expected end. end. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening, children? Now, parents, we now tell them his plans can only be found in his book, Bible. Mm-hmm. All right? God has plans for you, and those plans are good. You know where to find those Bible, those plans, in his book. Where? Bible. You must read your Bible daily, because that is where you can find God's plan for your life. And it's every scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, the voice of God is behind it. That's why scripture says in 2 Timothy 3.16 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture All Is given by Inspiration of God By the help of the Holy Spirit So Plan of God for you Can be located In the word of God Not in your son name Not in your school, not in your career The Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the last one, before I speak to children again. Parents, tell them they are carrier of God's promise. They are what? Carriers of God's promise. Acts chapter 2. Acts of Apostles. Let one of our children read this. Acts 2. We can take it from 36 to 39. Anyone? You can get a mic and read it. Acts of Apostle chapter 2. Let's read 36 to 39. You are not there yet? Okay, pay attention and we read. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know as surely that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? That's what I want to hear from you children today when it's time for a call. What can I do to be saved? They said, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, repent. And let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
before you go today, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pay attention to that verse 39. And the promise is for you and to say my children, my children. and to all who are far off as many as the Lord our God we call. God is still in the business of calling people. And I have no doubt in my mind. Some of these ones, God is still going to call them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So you are God's carrier. You carry God's promise. Do you know that? I've shown you now. Teach them, parents. You cannot live your life anyhow. When you get to school, don't live anyhow. Don't relate anyhow. You are not the same. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to the image of this world, but do what? Be transformed by the word of God. So the only thing that will transform you, that will separate you from the world, is the word of God. Don't conform with the pattern of the world. Because some of your... Uh, Friends, school, they talk anyhow, they smoke, they dresses anyhow. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You carry God's promise for your life. And you will not waste it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because of our time, let me just give you one of his promise. His promise for you is the promise of the Holy Spirit. When you say yes to Jesus, the first thing we do to fill you with Holy Spirit. You'll be empowered. And after empowerment, you'll be enthroned. Mm. That's why I say call to salvation is a call unto greatness. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Our children shall be great in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even greater than all spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. So children, what do you need to do today? Say yes to Jesus. Say yes to God's call in life. Say yes in your heart. Say, Lord, I want to serve you. I want to know you more. Help me. All you need to do is that. How? By saying it. Romans 10.10. 10. Romans 10.10. 10. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So without, declar without declaration, there cannot be confirmation. So all you need to do now is to declare, you open your mouth and say, Lord, I say yes to you. I know you have a plan for me. I know you have a promise for me. I know you love me. I know you made me. I want to say yes. I want to follow you. And parents, you continue to teach them the way of God. And the Lord will preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen to this before we pray. You know the reason why God is preserving me as your pastor? Because he has a plan for me. With what I've been through in my life, I should not be alive today. That's why I know that if you say yes to God's call, God will preserve you because he has assignment for you. Did you get the secret? Why will God keep you if you are not useful? Why will God keep you if you are not useful? But if you are useful, look. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isaiah 38, write it down. When God said to prophet Isaiah, go and tell King Ezekiah, that is going to die. You know the story? <laughs> it's kind of look at the words. I cannot die now. Because I have so many work that yet to be done. Within short of time, within a minute, God said to Isaiah, go back to where you are coming from. Go and tell him you are not going to die. And God had that. How many years? I want you to. Oh, parent. Any children? How many years? 10? Anyone? David? 15. Are you sure you know it or you had mommy saying it? 
Come and see me. I'll give it to you later after the service. God added 15 years. So, why? Because it's useful. All of you will not be useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In God's kingdom, you will be useful in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All of you are first on to honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So seek first the kingdom of God. Remember the kingdom of God is for you. Did you. Are you paying attention to me? Where we started, where Jesus called you. Because the kingdom of God is for you. What a blessing. What a blessing. The kingdom of God is for you. For children. You know how many things are embedded in God's kingdom. Time will not permit us. Salvation. Revelation. Glory. Grace. Wealth. Prosperity. Long life. Power. Those are things in God's kingdom. And God said the kingdom of God is yours. So all you need to do is to say yes. I'm going to serve you. And God will uphold you to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I want to do something. When Emmanuel was ministry, the Lord gave me this word. God bless you, Emmanuel. Amen. Please don't relax. Alright? Don't relax. When you are praying that though the way you interpret it, it is well. About Jeremiah, that there are some people they don't want to talk to you. I was talking to my wife. That's the exact thing that was happening in our house during this week. Don't be fearful, children. And I will show you what to do. Open your Bible to First Timothy. First Timothy. Everybody open it, children. So the Lord want me to lay my hand upon you. And he gave me that Bible verse. First Timothy, I'm going to read it. Just pay attention. I told you children, I want you to be coming to church with your Bible, manual Bible. All of you are checking Bible on your phone. It's good, but I don't really, really like it. Please, come with your Bible. The manual one, mm -hmm, with your notes. All right? God bless you. Are we there? First Timothy, I'm going to read. Pay attention from verse 12. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. First Timothy, Timothy chapter 4. From verse 12. Listen. Pastor Emmanuel, listen. Let no one despise your youth. Be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Verse 13. Till I come, give attention to reading, reading the word of God, to exhortation to doctrine. Now do not neglect the gift that is in you. I pray through my hands today. As I lay my hand upon you, it's going to be God's extension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And your gift will come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said the gift of God through laying your hand of hand today. Your gift will come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every domain gift in you, I speak the word of God. Let them begin to rise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do not neglect the gift of God that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying of the hands of the elder, of elderly. Meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them that your progress may be evident to all. Can you see that? Verse 16. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Salvation. Just to emphasize on this before we go. Let no one despise you. God will not do that for you. You do that yourself. Don't let anyone talk you down. Don't be rude. I'm not teaching you to be rude. But there's a way to, to do it. Be bold. 
If anyone is talking against you, you don't have to stand there. You don't have to be their friend. Give me the population of the world today. Okay, the world is too much. In your school, how many people? Anyone? How many people in your school? David, how many people in your school? Okay, that is your class. Yeah, okay, even 31 in your class. And so one, one person or two people, they don't want to talk to you. You don't have to be bothered. You don't have to what? I don't care. If you don't want to talk to me, I don't care. It's your life. You don't have to be bothered. Don't fight them. But be bold. The Spirit of God is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All our children they shall be courageous and strong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let no one, let no one. Timothy was going through this. That's what Paul, Paul said to him. Uh -huh, because you are young. He, he was just 17 years old. He was a pastor. In fact, he was a bishop. It, it means he have other churches under him. And some head rose up in the church. In the church, not in the school now. So if that is happening in the church, will that not happen in the school? Thank God for those God is using here. I cannot allow any that, uh, anyone to do that under my leadership. You don't bring anybody down. No. It's our job to build people up. So don't let your friend talk you down. If you, are, if you have a friend that all they do every day is to talk you down, that you are nothing, please walk away. Alright? And if anyone is bullying you in your school, go and tell your teacher. Nobody has a right to bully you. Listen to this. You too, you don't have a right to bully people. Amen? Amen. That's the word of God. Let's stand up. Thank you, Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided. To give your life to Jesus, come forward. The kingdom of God is yours. Jesus, God bless you. You can face me, face me. You are not too young. God bless you. Oh, thank you, Lord. To follow Jesus. Sing. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided. I have decided. God bless you, Pastor Mrs. I have to pray for you.
Jesus. This one will serve God in here. Pray and please pray. Say, Lord, we uphold them. Say, Lord, we release them unto you. Use them for your glory. Use them for your glory. Use this one for your glory. This one are available, available for you. In the name of Jesus. This one will build nations. This one are kingdom builders. In the name of Jesus. Their voices will be heard. Among them are prophets. Among them are apostles. These are teachers. These are evangelists. These are pastors. These are lawyers. Kingdom lawyers. Kingdom prime ministers. Kingdom governors. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning. We commit them unto you. Lord, use them. Use them. They will not be deceived. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Pray for them. They will not be deceived. They will not be deceived. Christ will not deceive you. Satan will not deceive you. The Lord will uphold you. Then you will hear God. You will hear God. You will know what to do. You will enjoy divine direction. In the name of Jesus. Now let's go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We pour the blood of Jesus upon you. The wrath of Christ is upon you. Let no one trouble you. Let no one trouble this ones. In the name of Jesus. Because the mark of Christ is upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that fights you, God will fight you. And the Lord will save you. This one will delight Christ. They will peace God. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and worship God. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Great is your faithfulness. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Congratulations. Please stop crying. Yes. You see, when you give your life to Jesus and you are crying, you show that salvation is genuine. Oh, yes. I pray in the name of Jesus. You will not go back to the world in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of truth will dwell in you forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. You pray this one will not be deceived in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power of God will rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are baptized with power. You are baptized with glory. You are baptized with grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will satisfy you with long life. He will satisfy you with glory. He will satisfy you with anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I declare restoration. Amen. Restoration. Amen. Restoration. Amen. Divine restoration. Amen. Divine restoration. Amen. Divine restoration. Amen. To take place in your soul, Amen. in your spirit, Amen. and in your body. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord will shield you with power. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you are preserved. Amen. You are protected. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Before you go and sit and say after me, Lord, I'm giving you my life. From today, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. You are my light. You are my world. In you, I live. In you, I move. In you I have my being now and forevermore. I pray you will pray me to the end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. You are welcome to God's family. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You can go and sit down. God bless you. God bless you. I believe I've laid hand on them. Yeah, do. God bless you. Amen. Wow, what a day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Can somebody tell me what's time now? So I can just round up the size. 45. Oh, 45. God bless you. Let's listen to our announcement. 
before we do our celebration. So during the celebration, if you are paying your tithes, we do it together and offering. Our announcement, by the grace of God on Tuesday, our Tuesday prayer meeting at 7 p.m. Not 8 p.m. anymore. Don't let us forget 7 p.m. 7 o'clock is much better. I have some people, I don't want to mention their name. They tell you, Pastor, you have to stick with one hour, 7 to 8. And I'm saying one hour is not enough for me. <laughs> so we move through to 7. I think we can spend like one hour, 15 minutes, one hour, 30 minutes. That is not too late. That's the idea. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. On Friday, Bible study is online only. But I realize one thing. Few people, I know, you always join. Some of us, we don't join Bible study. The only thing that we uphold us is the word of God. Where we just read now, 2 Timothy 4. He said, give attention to reading. Word of God is powerful. Please, let's join Bible study 7 p.m. every Friday. And on Sunday, our family worship service at 10 p.m. The Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let's pray along and we know the year is running to an end. So on the 31st, by the grace of God, we are going to have crossover service here, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. If there's any other uh, announcement, I uh, will let us know. Choir. Celebration service. We want to dance. Usher, please get the basket ready. And we we'll use the opportunity to pay our tithe and offering before we go. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's stand up on our face. Everybody praise the Lord now. I praise him every day.
Father, we bless this offering in the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord. Bless each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's come back next week and give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. It's going to be a glorious week in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we depart from here, the presence of God will never depart from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord will bless you. Amen. He will bless your family. Amen. He will bless you with peace. Amen. He will bless you with prosperity. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I cover you with the blood of Jesus oh, Christ. Jesus. You will walk in safety. Amen. You will walk in power. Amen. You will meet helper this week. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your expectation will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. You will not be ridiculed. You will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Just go ahead and give God praise for what he has done. Let's thank you for divine preservation this week. Thank you for what you did on Tuesday. Thank you for what you did on Friday. Thank you for today. Let's thank God for this ministry. Let's thank you for the life of our children. For those who gave their life to Jesus today. Father, we thank you, thank you for your presence. Thank you for what you have done. May your name be praised forevermore. In Jesus' anointed name, we worship. Amen. Can we share the grace in fellowship together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Sit to yourself. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus. Children, say after me, I am, I am preserved forevermore. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. God bless.